Oh, it was destroyed. So, you still have the option to go to the Fortress Via just, you know, directly, but, like the man said, meet him at the central computer. So, going back here does not mean you go back to the stage. I mean, you can. That is what it means, but if it's a grand finale, then you don't run the stage as normal. So, I don't know if it's still possible to get the sub tank or heart tank, but as for the later half of the stage, it is not. This is where it ends. Kept you waiting, huh? All right, going down. But this is only what happens when you get all the zero parts. And here's what happens when he doesn't get all the parts.
Oh boy, alright. Down below. And if anyone's concerned about the weakness for that zero fight there, it's the speed burner. Yeah, I don't know about forever, but eh. as is your one. So I believe this one is uh, Neon Sigma. fact I forgot to mention uh, failing this fight means he had to redo the zero fight if he does not yeah be using my air uh oh Got his own. Look at Spark. Uh oh. There you are. the Sigma virus. Yep, you got a sub tank. Put it to good use. In fact, what I like about this fight, uh, it drops enemies that may or may not drop health. Make good use of them.
Oh yeah, just yeah. Now it just occurred to me. Uh oh. Oh man. Woo! All right, that's a lifesaver. This time, dry shots actually affect them right? what happened last time. Like, normal charge shots. Upgrade or not. He's about to, yep. Yep, don't let him catch you. be There you go. You know what? There's one good thing I say about this. Uh, he knows how to keep up the pressure. Like, no standing around waiting for hands or just... No, no choose way. Mobility is the name of the game. Epic escape sequence. I love this. Like, we actually see him escape. Instead of just teleporting out.
And a nice view of the seaside. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, and uh, I noticed the line with Sigma said, each time I defeat it, I become stronger. Sigma is a saying confirmed. And I like this one more. The last one was how long will XQ fighting. Here is how long until Dr. Light's wish for prosperity between humans or reploids ever come true. In fact, there's one line I wish this script kept, and that is. Price of peace is often high. And with that, yeah, thank you, man. X2. And to be quite honest with you, I like this one uh, way more than the first one. Because even though the first one is phenomenal in its own way, this one improves on it so much more. The boss fights are equally balanced, so no need to worry if you're going to get into one that'll potentially screw you over. I do like how none of the capsules are for us, unlike the light parts in where Chill, Chill Penguin is in the first one. So you can go in without worrying about that, but the parts themselves are really good. Love the body part, love the arm part. Dashing midair is cool. I do wish the item tracer was more automatic than just manual. And the weapons themselves actually commit to a much greater cause here. Crystal Hunter freezing enemies using this platform, strike chain latching on walls, the spin wheel being able to break um, objects. And then the silk shot depends on what terrain that X is in, which is pretty cool. Uh, the branching pathways with the X hunters. This is something that um, I don't think we see often. In fact, there's one that actually builds off of that, but in the most random way possible. Uh, I would say music gets a little bit of a tone down compared to the first one. I think the first one has the best sound in music overall. So. I would say X2 falters slightly, but there are huge gains compared to the other one. So all in all, I honestly prefer this one over the first one. And you know what? Shout out to the land chaser too. That needs more attention. And first time in the series that we see Black Armor Zero. Something that will also become a staple. We'll see in cheat codes. So with that, yep. That is Mega Man X2. No creepy Sigma message in this one. Fortunately, unfortunately. So I look forward to the next installment. Hey, you.